After riding one of the most beautiful roads I've ever been on, the B500 through the Black Forest, I eventually arrive at Freiburg in southern Germany where I meet Peter Coburn. I first met Peter in Zimbabwe about five years ago. I met him again in Colorado during my motorbike trip across the states. Uh, he put me up for a night. And now the third time I'm meeting him in Freiburg, Germany, where he now lives. So I get handed this flyer for an electronic store, which coincidentally I need to go to. I spin the wheel, I win a prize, I pop downstairs and I'm like a kid in a candy store. So I want this USB output for my motorbike, which I can plug in my phone, cameras, music, etc. Although I do not know when I'm going to find the time to install this thing. We passed this hot dog stand and I explained to him, dude, I, I, I love hot dogs, I gotta have one. And he says, no, we go to this bakery and what looks like a loaf of bread is actually a big lump of meat. Um, here it is on the right, that's it there. As it turns out, this loaf of meat goes in bread and it tastes like a fucking hot dog. Thank you, Germany, for your flygon cake. Peter then insists that I try this bread thing, which has curd inside, whatever the hell curd is. He's actually a great host. He makes sure I have everything German. This is like raw bacon and smoked. He's got gherkins, he's got beer. He's got his memory box with his one-way flight to Germany and a picture of his late father. And he shares some of his old memories with me and it's quite a sentimental moment because I've got my own memory box. And suddenly I'm remembering all of those things that I keep in my memory box. That lonely Mzungu badge he just showed you is a reference to the Swahili word Mzungu, which basically means white man. And the lonely Mzungu thing is obviously a reference to the lonely planet. And I can tell you, Peter Coburn is not a lonely Mzungu. He seems very well connected in Freiburg, and he seems to have a really strong network of friends. Let it go! Okay, as you can see, it's pissing rain. And I'm strongly considering not riding today. It's, first of all, because it's miserable, and second of all, because it might not be safe. Um, so. Maybe two nights in Heidelberg? Two nights in Freiburg, Adam. Oh, Freiburg! <laughs> We're in Freiburg, I'm sorry. Is Italian weather. Uh, this is Switzerland, with heavy rain blowing northeast. And here's Germany. And this is where I am right now. And I want to travel over this way. So for my own safety, I think I'm going to put this day on hold. I'm staying and I'm having a beer. Be very bold. I'm going to the Irish Pole.
Rebecca, a small stream that runs through various parts of the city here in Fribourg. And uh, they're part of an old water system. And it also serves as air conditioning, apparently, <laughs> streets and whatnot during the summer. But the legend says if you step in one, Oh, oh. Drunk or otherwise, you have to marry a Freiburger at some point in your life. Ah. Simon Lamont in Camberwell, thank you again for the biltong who I got to share with a fellow African traveler. Here we are in like a German Aldi thing, um, just looking like rogues and being rogues. Peter pops into the local university and straight away it brings me back to secondary school in Clonbos for obvious reasons. As you can see and as expected, Germany was a lot of food and beer. After spending two nights with Peter, I have to grunt and bear it. I need to get on the road and I need to make some progress towards Asia. This day was absolutely miserable, but despite that, I was still somehow singing in the rain. I did 400 kilometers that day. It stopped raining for about 20 minutes and otherwise, it was beautiful. It was a great day of riding. There was a resilience. It was a challenge. And I loved it. And it was absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you the constant rain that I had to endure for about five or six hours driving at 140, 150, 160 kilometers an hour. But this song comes to mind nearly every time it rains. And it's one thing that always gets me through bad weather is knowing that it's good for the farmers, it's good for the planet, and you know what? It's only water. Some people feel the rain, others just get wet.
I finally reached the beautiful city of Munich um, and I quickly find my hostel slash hotel which I have not booked I walk in there ask for a room 12 euro so big thank you to my my ninja my ninja uh, hotel hostel uh, for a warm bed a warm shower a clean and comfortable hostel when the sun goes down, the birds on the trees are singing sweet for the night. When the sun says good night to the mountain, I am dreaming of the sun. Say good night. Rain, 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 beautiful rain. Rain, 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 beautiful rain. Oh, come. Never come. Oh, never come.